Hi guys and welcome everyone to this screencast where I'm going to talk about doing airline stuff in the web arena. So to illustrate it all I've created a small JSON based application named Sticky Notes which covers the four usual actions you can do when working with the database create, read, update or delete records. So basically it gives you the possibility to add a new sticker on the screen, put some text in it change its properties, for instance I can change its color by clicking that button here or its position by moving the node around the screen. I'm going to add a new one and stress my application by copying these Unicode examples here. I'm reloading the page and as you can see the round trip to the server didn't break any of my text format. And finally we can delete a node by dragging it on the trash bin, like this. Here I'm going to assume that both Erlang and MushyWeb are already installed on your machine. So in order to create our empty application, we are going to use this script under the MushyWeb scripts directory, which is accepting two arguments. The first one is the name of the application, in our case Tiki Notes and the second one, the location. So we want to create an empty skeleton in our home directory. So here, as you can see, Sticky Notes has been successfully created. And basically, all my HTML pages, stylesheet and JavaScript are going to be located under the private directory. And I'll find all my Roland modules here. Since we want to play with the database, we need to do two more things. The first one is to tell our application where to find the database. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm making a new directory named db, and I'm going to edit the starting script in order to add a new parameter to the Earl command. So I'm telling Nisia where to locate the files in db. Okay, so the second thing to do here is to ensure that Nisia is going to start and stop along with the application. For that we need to modify this module, Sticky Notes, and here the same way we are ensuring that Crypto is starting and stopping together with the application, we are going to do the same with Nisia. So here for the start, and here for the stop. OK, I'm saving. Uh, we can compile our code now. All seems OK. And now we are ready to start the application. And as you can see, Mnesia has been properly started. We are going to check it all by browsing our localhost address on port 8000. And MushyWeb is running fine. Cool. Here is the big picture. I'm briefly going to explain what happens when we click on the Add button. First, we are going to build a JSON with an empty node's properties here, doc, and the action related. We want to create a new node. Next, using the stringify method from Douglas Crawford, we are preparing the data. And here, using jQuery, we are actually sending the data to the server. So don't forget to mention the data type. We are playing with JSON. And here, no matter the action, I'm always using the same path, nodes. At the server side now, after passing the request, I'm using MuchyJSON to convert the data into a native Erlang structure, a tuple of property lists. And before sending back any response to the client, I'll use MuchyJSON again to encode back the data. The callback here will be responsible for the rendering using Pure. Before any coding, 
I have to tell you that I'm cheating a little bit here. We are going to start with a pre-coded version of Sticky Notes. Since I don't want to enter all the client-side uh, implementation details, I just would like to focus on the create action. It's going to be easier for me to explain and easier for you to, under to understand the overall process. Having said that, all my client stuff are located under the private directory, as I said before, and here is my unique HTML page. So as you can see, I'm using the, the Glass Core 4 library, jQuery, and here I'm using Pure, which is fantastic when it comes to do templating at the client side, trust me. The HTML is quite simple, and here is my unique template for a node. So as you can see, there is no mixing between code and HTML which is fine actually. Okay, 